simplybook.me tutorial how to use simplybook.me step by step hey guys welcome back in this video i'm giving you a tutorial on how to use simplybook.me as your online booking system so let's get into it first of all what you need to do is you're gonna go to simplybook.me and you will land on this website right here and um, simplybook.me allows you to accept online booking you can send notifications via sms and email you will be able to accept payments payments, add integrations, and much, much more. With simplybook.me, you can get started for free using your email address or using your Google account. After the initial sign up or sign in to your Simply Book, this is where you will land. You can see this is our main dashboard that we have and we have all of the options given at this side of the screen. In our simple dashboard, we will be getting the preview of our bookings and our recent work. Then we have our welcome calendar this is where i can schedule and add bookings then we have our marketing suite manage reports custom features settings and more at the top here we have my booking channels this is where you will enter your booking website and at the top we also have notifications emails and calendar we can create our own profile which is going to be our company profile and we can also create a team profile with simply book so once you get to the dashboard here, uh, you can scroll down to check out different reviews and overview of the work that you're doing here. Then we can simply go to the calendar. Within my calendar, I will be able to create availabilities and more. For that, you can see at the top, we have manage bookings. So the website that you have connected, all of the bookings will be shown here. So the first step actually is going to be connecting your website. So you can go to my booking website here and it will open it up for you. When you're signing up for Simply Book, you actually create a booking website with the template that is already given. You can also change and manage the website that you have created. This is what your booking website will look like. Uh, you can see it's a very high quality website that we get with Simply Book. We have our contact information here, we have our location and about us. So here we have three pages home and then we have the booking and the contact us. From here, people will book our appointments and our business, any business that you have. And then you will be getting all of the orders here and you'll be able to check and manage your bookings. When it comes to the manage option, you can click on manage. Then we have manage services, service providers, clients and users. Let's say I want to manage these services. And here it will show me all of these services that uh, we have created. If I want to add another service, so we just click on the plus button here and enter the service name. Let's say that we provide some private sessions as well. So I'm going to go with private session. This is one of the services that we just launched. Then we have our service description. So this is where you enter the description for now. I will just write the word description here. Then we can scroll down and we have service image. So we can also, you know, display our services uh, visually and we can enter a service image here. And then we have display service on the booking page. Now, this is one of the, uh, you know, options that we get. If you do not want to show this service on your booking page, then you can actually disable this option. We also have enable the price, accept payment options and others. Then we can click on save and close. We can then add the time details, services, schedules and more. So you can scroll down. Here you can see we have service categories. We have service schedule, intakes form, connected memberships, connected service add-ons, related resources. Then we have ticket reports and more. So for instance, I want to add some service schedule. So I'll just click right here enter the schedule and click on save and close then we have service providers so this is you know our uh, scheduling and you can see we can actually enter the date and time here and the session then we have working times break time and others all are mentioned here this is how you schedule a service and then we also have the service provider so we can do a lot with the service when we create on simply book uh, once your service is created, it will be shown right here. You can also hide your service for now, make it private or keep it public. Uh, so this is what it looks like. You can see we have online service and private sessions. After that, uh, in the manage option, we have service providers. So let me take you to service providers now. Okay, so in service providers, we can add any uh, service provider 
click on this plus button and add a service provider name. For instance, their name is Dan. So I'm just going to enter it right here. Then we can add a description. We have to enter their phone number here and email address. And we can also add a service provider image. Then how many clients can be served at the time? You can enter uh, the, you know, amount here. For instance, this private session is actually one on one and only one client will be served. If it's an only class, maybe I can add 15 here, 10 or 5. It totally depends on you, the kind of service you will be providing. So for us, it's one on one here. So I'm just going to go with one. Then we can scroll down and we have service provider schedule, service attached to the service provider, service provider's location, and more options. So uh, again, you click on save and close and your new service provider will be added here. This is how you add a service provider. Then in the manage, we have our clients. You go to clients and then click on add. So within our ad client, again, you will enter the client information. You can go with the details or the address. So we'll go to uh, details here and we have to enter their name. Uh, for instance, their name is Harry. And then we have to enter the email address and then enter an email address and click on save. Once you click on save, a new client will be created here. This way we can add as many clients as we like and we can also import from a CSV or we can export from Excel. Then in the manage here, we have users. Now, so this is where you will add all of the users that will be using Simply Book and the team members that actually provide these services. Uh, once you enter a username, this is where you will add all of your team members. You enter their email address, their login, group, and and you give them a password, click on save and close and their password will be saved and you can share this with your team. So this is how you manage all of your different, uh, you know, aspects of your booking a website that you have added to simply book from this option. Then we have the reports within my reports. We will be getting booking details. We will be getting the reports, um, the different stats and all of the overview of our uh, booking website that we have. Similarly, we have our custom features here and we also have a marketing suite available. So within our Simply Book, we can not only manage our bookings and schedule, we can also work on the marketing aspect of our business and the services that we are providing. So you can go to the marketing suite here and you will find your Google business. If you want to add your business to Google business here, then we have Facebook and Instagram bookings, booking.page, and we also have our simplybook.me booking website. So this is actually pretty important. Impressive. We are getting a lot of different marketing um, integrations that we can add to our Simply Book that will help us promote our services better. This way, you can create a booking system with Simply Book really easily as a complete beginner. And now you know all of the different features that you will be getting within your dashboard. This brings us to the end. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up or leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.